Yes, I want to say to you, babe, thank you. You will. Uh, no, I really do appreciate you. Do not have to do it. And so, really for me, I really appreciate you taking the time and trying your best. Even though I could have went and bought some fish, you just wanted to make it personal and for me. And I want to say thank you for what you do. Oh, you're welcome. I love you. Oh, y'all, that wasn't even scripted. Thank hey, you, babe. Hey, everybody. You guys, today we are fixing some fried flounder. Now, this is another dish that my husband loves. He likes to go get fish on Fridays. So, I'm trying to keep him at the house, okay? So, we're going to fix some fried flounder. Um, it's marinating in the buttermilk and not that it needs to not to make it tender You know, it's already tender, but it's just to kind of make it stay a little moist And you only want to marinate it maybe about 45 minutes to an hour You don't really don't want to marinate any longer than that because it can get mushy So we're going to drain the marinade off of that in just a minute But we're going to start by showing you exactly what I'm going to use so and we're going to go outside and cook, cook this on the black stone on my um, gas burner. So we're not going to cook it in the house. But the oil I'm going to use, I'm going to be using peanut oil. And for my seafood breader, I'm going to use House of Autry. And this is a seasoned breading mix. And then we're going to season the fish with some, some black pepper. We have seasoning, salt, garlic powder and onion powder and I'm also I want to make it crunchy or crispy so we're going to use I'm going to scramble up um, two eggs lightly I'm going to add a little hot sauce to that and that's just not to make it hot you don't do hot stuff but it's just to give it a little more flavor so I'm going to dredge it in the seafood breader after I Toss it around in those eggs, okay? We're gonna cook it outside on the black stone griddle in my frying pan. Okay, I've already put the grease on outside on the griddle, and now I've drained most of the marinade off of the fish, and we're gonna get it seasoned up. I've already washed my hands. You guys don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Why? Y'all already know, cause that's just nasty. Nasty. Get this egg on me. Okay. So, gonna add a little bit of hot sauce to this again just for flavoring it's not going to make it hot and then once I dredge it in this seafood breader my plan is to Leave it on this platter. any seasoning to the flour because the flour is already seasoned. And because I'm going to have to touch the fish, I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to be seasoning it with, with one hand. Start with the seasoning salt. I'm about to 
used all of that. Okay, and then we're gonna, this is the onion powder. Just gonna end with the black pepper. Make sure we get it coated really good with the breader because we want it really crispy. All right, guys, we're out here at the Blackstone, and I think my grease is ready. I'm just going to start with two pieces at a time so I won't overcrowd my pan.
And you guys see how I have my fish platter over there covered up so the little pesky flies won't be licking all on my fish. I want you guys to see with this cast iron pan, even after cooking fish, you do not clean it with soap and water. I just have to simply rinse it out because it's been seasoned just that good. And now I'll wipe it out with a paper towel and I'll leave it out to make sure it's completely dry before I put it away. And now all I'm going to do is dip my paper towel and some bacon grease that I have and rub it in my cast iron skillet. And we're good for the next use. Okay, back to the fish. Now look at that fish. Doesn't it look pretty? Now it's time to call my dude number one in here so he can taste it. Honey, uh, you gonna come taste the fish? Yes, 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 yes. Y'all, I grew up on Libby Hill. I don't know where you guys are, but in North Carolina, we used to do Libby Hill. And we had Libby Hill every Friday. My mom would do fish. Hmm. Hey, everybody! Don't. Uh-uh. Don't. <laughs> Did you taste the fish? What am I tasting? The fish. You a fork or something. Whose is it? What do you mean, whose is it? Who fish is it? Is anybody want some fish? Y'all want some fish? I, I, why do I can't touch it? Because it, it's mine. Oh, oh, okay. You don't need to get... Okay. You were okay, saying I'm, why you have to get a fork. Yeah, why I have to get a fork for something? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it crunchy enough or crispy enough? It is. That's good. It's really good. Does it taste like it has hot sauce on it? No. So y'all see his eyes See, we don't do hot. Oh. I added some hot sauce when I did the eggs with it to give it more flavor, mm -hmm. not to make it hot. But as I said, we don't like hot, spicy stuff, but no more than what I added. It was just enough to kind of give it some flavor. That's good. It really is. It's good. No, really, guys. It's um. Let me say this, man. I, I really want to say this. I really, really, really do mean what I'm about to say. To you guys. My wife, um, she goes out her way. Um, she loves to please her family in every way, um, form or fashion. And sometimes you just go through a blur of the day and not think about all she has. Uh, all your wife or your significant other may go through. I watched, I'm um, not paying attention my subconscious just watching her today preparing this and going all day in the kitchen. And I'm doing everything. Da -da 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 -da. Don't say all day, babe. You say all day. They're not going to want to cook this if it's going to okay, take well, all day. A good distance of time. But let me say this, guys. I want to say to you, babe, thank you. I, no, I really do appreciate you. do not have to do it. And so, really for me, I really appreciate you taking the time and trying your best. Even though I could have went and bought some fish, you just wanted to... Make it personal for me, and I want to say thank you for what you do. Oh, you're welcome. I love you. Oh, y'all, that wasn't even scripted. Thank you, babe. That's so sweet. Obviously, guys, and, and to you guys out there, uh, speaking to you, man, uh, if your wife or your significant other goes out her way, sometimes um, they do a thing so often that we do not even take it. We take it for granted and do not even take into consideration what they put up with or how much they go through. Maybe hours providing a meal, we devour it in minutes. So, I just want to say, you guys, take a moment just to say thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, you guys. A hush puppy. God, this is my homemade hush puppy. It's my I hush did, puppy. I did hush puppies too. Now these right here are smaller. These right here are smaller.
because they need to be a little bit sweeter. No, don't don't eat the big one. Try one of the smaller ones. Because, because it's a little sweeter. A sweet cornbread on my thing. You know we eat sweet cornbread. Don't y'all eat sweet cornbread? Could you tell it's a little sweeter than the other one? I was gonna just eat hush puppy. Yes, creepy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Hit the button. Ring something. Tell somebody about something. <laughs> Bye, you guys.